hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Danielle and I hope you're all doing well so in today's video I'm just going to be talking about my favorite buns my go-to buns what I wear most of the time now that's like literally have been my go-to protector here so it's just buns and the only reason why it's easy and convenient that's why I've been just loving buns lately so the reason why I just wanted to talk about this because there is a few things you do have to be careful with buns and number one is buns cannot be too tight you cannot have them tight where they just literally stick back because what it's doing is slowly breaking your hair and it just defeats the purpose of a protective hairstyle so whenever you put a bun put it in your hair and then loosen it a bit so there's no tension in the hair number two is when you are having your hair ties um my favorite one these days is satin scrunchies but whatever it is just like monitor it the hair tie you're going to use either if scrunchies or whatever and just see if little pieces of hair is pulling so if there's little pieces of hair that's attached to a bun it means it's pulling your hair because i had some um hair bands which i used to use all the time and i noticed after a while i would see little strands of hair so now what i've done is switched it up with the satin and so far because i did buy another set of satin scrunchies and they're really really tight and they had little pieces even though they were scrunchy um satin scrunchies but they wasn't the loose ones so i would suggest getting the loose ones and since so far that i've been doing it there's no hair that's like tied around so i know it's not ripping or snagging my hair so that's why I will definitely go with a satin scrunchie. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is buns. We all have, like, say, a preference. Some of us like high buns, some of us like a centre bun or low bun. I would say go for all of them. And the reason why I say go for all of them is because you're switching up the tension of the hair. If you're constantly having it in one place all the time, you're just putting tension there, putting tension there. And it's, it, it's not helping, it defeats the person, it slowly starts breaking and you usually can tell with that area. So try to move your buns around. I know like I said, we all prefer it a certain way. I'll be honest, I think I mainly prefer high or sometimes low. But I have been doing a middle. So yeah, that is everything I want to say about buns. So just remember... Don't tie it too tight, loosen it up a bit. Um, satin scrunchies, and don't forget to move your buns around. So let me just quickly show you my go-to buns. It's literally gonna be a quick tutorial, okay? So with this hairstyle, it is a high bun, and I just bunned it, like twirled it and bunned it. Took a little piece because sometimes I don't like my hair always going back. So what I did do is just took a little piece and just clipped it. So all my ends are tucked away. So this next style, I will say it's more of a semi because there's going to be pieces of hair um, out. So I'll call it a semi-protective hairstyle. So let's get with the next one.
So uh, this is bun number two. So the reason why I personally call this one like a semi-protective hairstyle, because obviously a protective hairstyle is everything tucked away, especially your ends. So I have left this bit. So I'm kind of like risking these two little parts of my hair. So this, I wouldn't say do this all the time. But like I said, I don't like my hair going back all the time. I just prefer something. That's just my opinion. I just like it. I just think it just works with me. Um, As you can see, I put it... You can use bobby pins. I usually use bobby pins. I don't know why it didn't work today. But I used the side clips I showed you earlier. Anything just to clip it up. If you want, you can tuck it in and do a double bun. So, like, wrap it around. However you want to do your bun. But I just give you an alternative. Um, You can just... As long as your ends are tucked away and clipped away, it's fine. To be a fully protective hairstyle, if you want, you can just tuck these away and it's a fully protective hairstyle. So it's up to you and like here I can see my edges. If you want you could put just a little bit of edge control or jam gel or um, what's it called? Elastic QP, you know the glaze. Anything like that if you want to touch up your edges or something like that. So yeah. Let's get into the next one. So this is my low bun. So I just done a centre part and it's all tucked away and it's in a low bun and I hooped it around. I didn't wrap it around or anything, I just hooped it around because when it's on a low bun I can do that. And if you notice with all three buns I did pull the scrunchie slightly so the bun is loose. It's not pulling, especially in my nape area. I'm not pulling anywhere around. It's nice and loose and comfortable. And you always know when your bun is too tight, because I get this. If your bun is too tight, sometimes you get headaches or your head hurts. It's because your bun's too tight. So always try to just loosen them. So there. So those are the three main hairstyles I like. Sometimes I might do a side part or a centre part for my low buns, but those are my three main buns. So there's another bun I do want to show you, because a lot of us forget. We always move one, two and three, but there's another place you can move your buns as well, and that is your side parts. You can do high side buns, or you can do low side buns. I prefer a low side bun, so I'm just going to quickly show you that now. So this is what I was talking about, the low side bun. So don't forget to move, so say for instance you have it say one or two days on this side, move it one or two days on the other side, just so you're switching up the tension. So yeah, that's about it. So these are more or less my go-to bun hairstyles, because so, I've noticed the last couple of weeks I keep saying, I wear my hair in a bun, I wear my hair in a bun, and that's just how literally from April, Till now, like odd times I wear my hair out, you see me do like odd curly hair or I just have my hair straight and down. But majority of the time it's now in a bun. That this has just been my go to go to hairstyle, really. And go to and because I know my ends are tucked away, double up as a protective hairstyle. So yeah, so that's about it. So as always, I just want to say Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. So take care now. Bye.